one of the most important things when you're off grid is to completely understand uh, the, capacity, the current capacity of your batteries. And for a long time, I went without any sort of ability to monitor the batteries uh, other than just checking with a, a voltmeter and trying to get an idea from that of uh, how much capacity I had left. Doesn't work real well. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a bit of a fan of Victron. Uh, I'm going to use them for um, a lot of my work out in the desert. Uh, a while ago, I bought one of these. Uh, it's a BMV702 or BMV700, basically the same. They're a battery monitor. In Australia, they cost around about 220 bucks, so really cheap insurance. Um, what I do find with them, though, is that uh, straight out of the box, they're, they're um, not hugely accurate. Um, what they tend to do is they, they indicate 100% state of charge a bit early. Uh, so you do need to make a couple of changes straight out of the box. So I'll show you how to do that. Hello, Kelly. Okay. First thing you want to do is hit the set up key. Right. Number one is battery capacity. So here you can see mine is... 375 amp hours. I've already set that up. Then you want to go to number two. This is the charged voltage. So it will not indicate 100% charged until it reaches this voltage. Um, you want to set that at 0.2 of a volt below your float voltage. So for my batteries, the float voltage is 55. I set the um, tail voltage as 54.8 okay the third thing that you want to set is the tail current basically it means that the unit will not consider the batteries fully charged until the current until the voltage is at in my case 54.8 volts and three percent of the total capacity of the batteries is going in so uh, if you had a 400 amp hour battery that would mean that you'd have 12 amps going into it. So set that as 3%. Next one. That's how many minutes it needs to be at that voltage and at that current or that voltage or above or that and that current or below before it'll be fully charged. Uh, by default, that's a really short period. Make it 10 minutes, I would suggest. Uh, all these settings are for AGM batteries, but they I, I'd say that those settings will work quite well for everybody. Okay, ciao.